Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Yes, it's been a busy day. We did this video. This was the second video we did today. Um, and now we're going to be giving you another update. Uh, this is a big one. This is a hard hitter. This was a Patreon exclusive. Um, it would just get taken down immediately up on uh, YT. So looking at this, and here we see 6.4. This is 209 kilometers west-southwest of Tofino, Canada. And as we see, there's a 5.0 um, that just came in as well, 12 kilometers deep. There was another one. Now, some sources say this 6.4 was a 6.6. .6, um, and some people remember seeing a 6.0 uh, that was removed. It, that was stated by some of our family members. Um, I believe Mr. MBB, Dutch Sense, and Into Thin Air all saw it too. So, you know, again, they're trying to hide what's going on. In our first video, I think it was the first one today, we were talking about a deep quake over here of 7.1 in the Philippines, 620 kilometers deep. As I pointed out, you know, the thing about this, 7.1... Typically, in an average year, you'll have about 12 to 15 that are 7.0. So you could count on one 7.0 somewhere a month is typical. But the deepest quake ever recorded was 735 kilometers, so they say, deep. And really, to see anything 600 kilometers deep is rare. It's, it's rarer than a 7.0 quake. So combine them together, and we should definitely take note because... Again, the deep ones mean typically the energy is going somewhere else. And, you know, if you look at this, this is kind of directly across the other side of the plate. Now, this also is the antipode um, to down in the Africa region, which there was a bigger quake um, going back within a week, I want to say. So, you know, be on the lookout, <laughs> be aware. Um, you know, we were thinking that we were going to have about three months ago, the big quakes come in and it does feel like we shifted parad paradigms to a degree and, and timelines, but it could be that things are just being a little bit delayed as mother earth is resisting a lot of the technology that's been, um, implemented on her. Yeah. I mean, this definitely to me is worth keeping an eye on. I know that we've picked up information right around this timeline you're never going to get exact timelines it's going to be before after very rarely will you get anything on a particular date but there's we and we talked about this in patreon you know about about the red balloon situation that's going on as well and we went into a little bit more detail in that asking questions and curious about the information that's been out for many many years and it does seem like there's something going on they're definitely trying to cover things up because it, i mean this should be kind of like all all over media but it's not it, it's pretty quiet thus far and what do we have here is we have three buoys in event mode so event mode is that they're reading like there's some sort of event transpiring this particular one right here uh is the one that's nearest to the epicenter and it's showing a, a 25 meter or about 82 foot drop in sea level. Now, that sounds ominous. Now, the officials uh, have said they do not expect a tsunami with this quake. Yet, this is, a, this is definitely a big wave that it's picking up. Unless it's just happening to be having some sort of anomalous... Uh, defect going on <laughs> so some sort of anomalous reading coincidentally at the same time uh i don't know when i checked this moments ago this one was not given a clear uh depiction it hasn't given us a clear answer yet because here you're just seeing you know maybe about seven foot wave um but the other one as well i don't think had checked in let's see same thing there so just this one closest to the coast was showing a very ominous drop but this is also the one that is uh, closest to this epicenter the Juan de Fuca as we know 
you know this is the big big one this is uh the real big one in that it has produced you know a 9.0 and 1700 cascadia is one of the major areas to look at um for big big quake activity this quake was felt in washington by by people as well so hopefully um the 6.4 is the biggest that we'll see is this all the energy transfer typically i i wouldn't think so but again that's me and just going by what i've observed uh watching these things the last uh, seven eight years or so intently uh so you know just be aware be on the lookout and be aware that anything really could happen we'll look for more data to see you know if there is any potential uh chance for a tsunami and this is uh, earthquake and tsunami advisory um channel you know again what we're seeing is tsunami not expected tsunami not expected definitely a strong earthquake um, let's hope there is none and let's hope it is just some sort of uh, glitch there in the electronics maybe it was just a little wave let us hope you know it's just wild times meanwhile we have russia vowing military response to u.s hypersonic weapons uh, as they head to europe this has been so telegraphed since day one uh, as I've shared with you guys, I've always expected that when they do what they're going to do, if you know we can't wake up the world quick enough, it's going to come across as a hypersonic attack that was unstoppable. And many channels are talking about this. Uh, WW3 is one of the top hash hashtags that's trending right now. So what will this be? They're preparing a military response to U.S. plans to station long-range missiles in Germany. <sighs> well, we'll see. We'll see. We, we might not have to wait too long. Again, that July 15 thing is ringing in the air. And, you know, what can you do? Just be as prepared as possible and uh, ride out the storm. And, again, contact neighbors, family members, uh, have them try to be as awake as they can be. We know that can be challenging. That's very challenging because sometimes if you try to tell a neighbor or family member, they they just shut you out and they will shut you out so fast. But keep in mind there, um, it's, it's how they protect themselves. So don't get angry. You know, if that's happening to you, definitely don't get angry at them. Just do what you can, say what you can, do your best, and then let it go. Just let it go and, and prepare for yourself and a little bit of padding for others. Um, that's really all any of us can do. If we want to help others, the best way to help anybody else is just to have yourself ready. Yeah, and you never know. You know, the pedal might be taken off the gas and things might be slowed down yet again. And, you know, there's many, many consciousnesses in play here trying to create